Hello everyone, this is Mohammad Khan. In this video KB, I'm going to show how platform events can be set up in a Salesforce org. Salesforce Connection in Informatia Cloud Application Integration supports the Salesforce Streaming API. You can configure an event source in, a, in the Salesforce Connection to subscribe to Salesforce platform events and push topic queries. Further details on this topic can be found at the link which is shown on this screen. We can take a look at that link as well. This is the documentation which is available on our website which provides details on Salesforce platform event properties. We can also take a look at the Salesforce connection. This is the Salesforce connection in application integration. As we can see, it has an event source. It has an event target. And one thing to note is that the, if we scroll down, we find two API settings, consumer key and consumer secret. We get these values when we set the platform event in the Salesforce org. Before setting up the Salesforce connection and real-time processes and cloud application integration to consume Salesforce events, platform event will need to be set up in the Salesforce org. So let's see how we can set up platform event. We navigate to the Salesforce org. This is the platform event and this option is available under develop platform events. So we click new give it a name scroll down select publish immediately and save The next step is creating an app or a connected app and provide necessary permissions to consume this platform event that we have just set up. From this connected app, we will get consumer key and consumer secret. So let's go to build apps, scroll down, connected app, new give it a name provide your email address scroll down enable OAuth settings and here we need to provide callback URL The callback URL has the format cipodhost.oauth0.com slash login slash callback and podhost will be the host when you open application integration in your org. In our case, this is the past podhost that we can find in application integration. So in our case, the callback URL will be this one. So we copy it. And paste it here.
scroll down and under selected OAuth scopes we need to provide necessary access or if you are not sure you can select all so in our case in, in this video KB let us select all the options scroll down and click save continue this is our connected app if we scroll down this is the consumer key this is the consumer key and when you click this URL you will get consumer secret you can copy them in a notepad file in your environment since they will be needed when you set up the Salesforce connection here is the callback URL we click manage edit policies and here we need to provide one specific setting relax IP restrictions other than that the default value should work fine all users may self-authorize and we click Save the last step is editing the profile we go to manage users profiles you can select whatever profile works for your use case or if you are not sure you can click edit on all profiles under object permission step number three scroll down and select the platform event that we just set up so in our case it is test underscore platform event and click Save this completes the setting up of the platform event this platform event that we just set up can now be used in a Salesforce connection in application integration and the Salesforce connection can be used in a real-time process to consume Salesforce events users can refer to the following video this video is available on our network.informatica.com this is the video so when you log into network.informatica.com this video is available under network informatica network cloud integration cloud application integration documents if we scroll down there is a zip file available which you can import in application integration and you can run this sample that's pretty much it hope you find this KB helpful we would like to hear from you you can reach us at the links shown on this screen thank you